Hi, welcome to this week's Sim Racing News Roundup. And uh, kicking things off, we've had the release of Hot Wheels Unleashed, um, which, in all honesty, has turned out to be a great little title. A uh, really solid arcade racer with... Um, not that many issues around it in all honesty um i've taken a quick first look review of this and i'll post a link to that video down below so go and have a look at that if you want to find out more about what hot wheels unleashed brings to the party uh, we've then also had um, an update for Gran Turismo Sport, but don't get too excited. Update 1.68 basically just brings improved network stability and that is it. So not particularly exciting at all. Uh, we've then also had an update for R Factor 2 um, and this update basically brings um, the Zandvoort Grand Prix circuit to uh, 2021 specs following the Dutch Grand Prix so it just adds a few changes around that so it's a nice one to get for R Factor 2 so it's extremely good news um, and well worth taking a look at. We've then got um, a news roundup, so this is a news roundup linking to a news roundup, yeah, that's interesting, uh, for Forza Horizon 5. So the Road to Mexico um, September update basically takes all the news that we've had um, during September for uh, Forza Horizon 5 and puts it all in one place for you to have a good read and watch some videos, so there's a lot of really good info in there. And hot on the heels of that, we have the PC um, specs for Forza Horizon 5. So if you are going to be picking up on PC, as I am, uh, this is extremely useful because it gives you the minimum recommended and uh, ideal spec for both AMD and NVIDIA systems. Um, so really quite handy from that point of view. And it looks like I'm going to be running it somewhere between recommended and ideal spec. I think the only thing I'm really going to be missing out on is ray tracing, which I can live without for now, although I really would love a bigger GPU with more grunt, but there we go, I'm going to have to save my pennies for that one. And then finally, rounding things off, we've got news that we are going to be getting a new circuit in... Um, race room tt circuit assen is coming so i'll leave you a link down below to the final stages of development and news around that for race room so there we go that's the weekly news roundup and what you've been watching while this has been going on is <coughs> interestingly not hot wheels uh, unleashed rather it's a seto corsa um, with a hot wheels track and the rbath 500 running some hot wheels skins so i thought it'd just be a bit of silly fun to uh, pop that in the video so i'll leave a link to both of those down below uh, and check them out and give them a go if you want um, and that's it for this week's uh, weekly sim racing news roundup if you've enjoyed this please do hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos get uploaded thanks very much take care bye